Fairchild. Hi, Justin. Hey, Bart. How are you? I'm good. Appreciate how are you? you having me. I'm well. You're dressed in a little more elaborate outfit today. Uh, what's up? So we've got the Kilted Santa project going on. Uh, this is our fourth year doing it. Um, and we actually have a second Santa this year helping me out, so we're really looking forward to the project. <laughs> you need extra help. It's grown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's great. So what is the Kilted Santa project? So it's a community project where community members are elves, uh, enthusiastic, loving volunteers, empowering Santa. Uh, they donate presents or funds to um, buy presents. And then uh, me and the other Santa drive around Jackson County um, Christmas Eve day and deliver presents to uh, a lot of different people. And this is uh, the outfit of a Kilted Santa. Yeah, this is, uh, this is mine. I go as the Green Santa, which is uh, typically a much uh, older version of Santa before he became red. My counterpart dresses as a Red Santa, mm -hmm. so that's kind of fun. <laughs> yes, well, as I think most people realize, uh, Santa has many helpers in uh, various forms all throughout the world. Mm -hmm. It's a big world. It is. What's the need? How do you find people that uh, have the needs? So there's a couple of ways. I do most of the um, most of our uh, uh, kids through the Kilted Santa group or the Kilted Farmers group. Mm -hmm. um, there's people who will uh, apply to be adopted. So those are families going through some big hardships this time of year. Um, I'll post a story about their hardships and some information about the kids and what they want or need. Um, and then community members will pick them up and adopt those families. Other people will sign up to have me stop by for a present uh, delivery for their kids. Um, and then we also do random stops where I'll find like a Santa stop here sign or evidence of kids being at the house, stuff in the yard, bikes, things like that. And I'll stop by and say hi. Oh, that's Drop cool. Off gifts. Yeah. What a neat surprise. How can people help? Uh, do they, do you prefer people buy presents or toys or do you take the money and and then um, buy buy what you get it works either way whatever works best for them so we've got a couple different toy donation spots um, there's the uh, cottontails toy store right downtown jackson here um, there is uh, concord meats in concord and then there's groveland market in uh, parma we're trying to get some more set up but uh, we're quickly running out of time they can also go to our GoFundMe if they want to do, they don't want to buy toys, but they want to donate funds towards it. And then we use those to buy toys um, to pass on. Cool. Well, I think a lot of people may have seen the Kilted Farmer at uh, various festivals and farm markets throughout the year. Uh, have you moved into any indoor space for the winter? So there's two, um, we're two farmers markets in Jackson where you can get our pastas. There's the Green Market at Henry Ford Alleg uh, Allegiance Health, mm -hmm. that's on Thursdays uh, from uh, 9 to 2, and then that's inside the hospital. There's also the uh, Grand River Farmers Market, which is indoors now at the Found Church, uh, right down on 141 uh, East Michigan Ave. Uh, that's Fridays from uh, 10 to 3. And if you can't make it to either one of those times or locations, you're uh on the shelves at some local retailers. Yep, we've got several local retailers um, in the community and around uh, around town. There's uh, our biggest stock is at Groveland Market in Parma, um, but we're at Prime Cuts, we're at Murphy's Bistro. Um, there's a couple Horrocks we're at. Is Groveland Market the new one next to the antique store downtown? Yeah, uh, it's a pretty cool place. Yeah, they just had their one year anniversary. Yeah. I, uh, I stopped by, I was very impressed. And at Murphy's Bistro opening uh, this week. Uh, today, actually. Today, they they're soft today openings today. I stopped by and grabbed an Italian sandwich before uh, coming here and no, delicious. Great I can't stuff. wait to try it. So, so what, do you, what do they have of yours at Murphy's Bistro? So they've got a variety of pastas. We've got a couple baskets there. Uh, what I like about them is not only are they a bistro and they have like soup, salad, sandwiches, but they do, um, they do a little market for a lot of the retailers or the vendors uh, that do the farmer's market. So they can put, there's honeys, candles, uh, fresh baked breads. They've got my pastas there. Oh, um, so there's a place where people can get some of their groceries while they pick up a nice uh, sandwich and a soup. Cool. And they're right across the street from JTV in downtown. They just, uh, they're opening today. Mm -hmm. uh, and Prime Cuts, another, uh, I've seen your uh, pastas at Prime Cuts too. Yeah. 
No, you make your own pasta. You grow, what else do you do? So um, right now we switched from doing kind of uh, our delivery service that we were doing before with a bunch of different retailers uh, to doing just pasta. Um, we did a variety of things, but the pasta is the one thing that we always sold out of. Um, so we got into a commercial kitchen, um, a retail kitchen out at the uh, Concord United Methodist Church. Mm -hmm. They had an old kitchen we can use. Um, so we switched there so we can now keep our pastas in stores versus before all I could do is like sell them out of my home or farmer's markets or right. cottage industry. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So that's nice. A full, full blown commercial kitchen. You can supply in probably greater quantities at more locations. Yeah. It's like fettuccine. I can picture that as being, is that your pr number one? That's my number one. Yeah. Uh, fettuccine is the primary. We also do lasagna noodles. Uh, we can do spaghetti. Um, spaghetti is a little more difficult because it's more brittle. Mm -hmm. um, so fettuccine is our number one seller. And we make over, we've got over 35 flavors that we do and we kind of shuffle them every week. Mm -hmm. um, so you never get the same, if you come to a farmer's market, you never see the same things typically twice in a row. <laughs> That's why we go. Uh, his products are great. Check them out and uh, help, help them with the Santa project uh, year four, right? Year four. Nice. Well, that's a cool thing that you're doing, uh, you and your friends. And thanks for coming in today. Hey, no problem. I appreciate you helping me. Thanks, Justin. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you as well. The Kilted Farmer in person, Justin Fairchild.